Hey guys, happy new year. Um, yeah, so uh, I was thinking about Tying of Light today since it's been a couple of days since the last one. Um, I got some requests and um, today we're gonna tie a wheelie gun uh, on the heavy uh, tungsten tube uh, that you can fish with early in the season and uh, yeah, a fly that goes down. Uh, and a wheelie gun is also a very famous pattern. Uh, if you're a salmon fish, you've probably heard about it. Uh, it's a color combination of uh, yellow, orange, and black. Uh, yeah, with some different materials in it and flash and uh, etc. Um, you can tie this fly on a lot of tubes, on every tube, to be honest. Um, plastic tube with body hackle for the big ones early in the season. You can tie them on small US tubes that are light and can be fished uh, high in the water. Um, uh, and small profile flies. Uh, the one I'm gonna tie today is maybe something in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna tie it on the uh, on the orange. Show you orange 14 millimeter. Um, not orange, but the inside tube is orange. The Stanton tube, the 14 millimeter. Um, and the fly goes a bit down and you can tie it up in the 19 millimeter if you, if you want to as well if you want it even heavier or the 25 millimeter if you want to but this is the, the 40 millimeter is the one i use most um i think it's a good all-round pattern that uh, fish is good in all rivers i think um if you've seen michael fredin's version of it you have the one with the rubber legs body hackle and a tungsten turbo cone in front um you can have uh, yeah, as I said, you can tie this in every different way, but uh, I guess that, I, I don't know the story though, but I guess that original was tied on a plastic tube, so, uh, and this is not my pattern at all, this is a very famous pattern in salmon fishing, so I'm just going to tie it for you guys, so you know how to do it, and uh, uh, yeah, I do this fly in two different versions, um, one uh, one with polar bear in all the other wings um, and I do one with uh, fox in all the wings uh, today we're going to use uh, fox uh, as that's the most common material to use and the most cheapest one and most easy to get hold of uh, good polar bear is really hard to get hold of uh, like as you can see here this is a really good polar bear and uh, you, you can have used that, or if you only have the yellow polar bear, you can use that as an underwing to build up the wing and have a stable underwing if you want to. Um, that's something I always uh, like, uh, like do very often, have the bottom wing uh, as polar bear just to build up the uh, stiffness in the wing, so you, the hook won't slap around that easily. But yeah, we're gonna, as I said, we're going to tie it on that Stanton tube, um, yellow really good uh, quality fox um, this is from Gotia Flyfish I think yeah we're gonna have the orange fox as the next wing um, the hackles between will be yellow soft tackle orange soft tackle and we're gonna finish off by black soft tackle. And the top wing will be temple dog. Some nice quality temple dog to have a little layer on the top. As you can see here. Um, yeah, we're gonna wrap the body up with uh, with gold braid from Fredin. It says holo braid, holographic. Uh, braid from Fredin uh, and I'm gonna use two different uh, flashes in this fly the, the, the first flash will be I don't know if you can see it but uh, I'm gonna use the uh, this one the no sorry this one the this is the hot magma yellow color from Fredin in this box I'm going to use this dubbing as a little hackle uh, in the front. I'll show you in the, when I tie it, so you can see it. Uh, and the middle part will be Alta Gold, so gold, just a gold flash. Uh, uh, and I'm going to use a black tying thread. Um, 
on this fly um, and we're gonna have some jungle cock um, yeah at the at the finish there by uh, yeah just some cheeks to fresh up the fly and as I said tie these up in different variations small ones big ones some with body hackle that makes a good volume profile of the fly um, yeah some of them small tubes you just just if you just have a I can see if I have one yeah, if, you, if you just have a small like this one for example just a small golden bottle tube that's it and you can have the the and you can just put on the uh, the wings and the hackle you don't need to do anything with the body I do that very often as well it don't has to be that complicated um, you can go with a yeah you can go with a turbo like this big uh, cones from Fredin the TTT that's a choice you can do whatever you want there is no rules in flat tying that's what's so good with this and I uh, love to experiment with different stuff and that's what I've been doing for many years now and uh, and as you probably have seen that uh, my uh, I guess my favorite uh, um, tube to tie on is the Stanton tube for sure um, but that's that's my personal opinion though so so I guess you guys wanna yeah uh, do what you have just use what you have and I'll, get, I'll think it will be perfect and just uh, give me a heads up if you are tied one and send me a picture of it and uh, yeah, it would be awesome to see. So let's go into the fly. Okay, so we start off by um, putting in a little hot spot at the back, orange one. Use orange thread or anything you have available. We add some super glue to the, to the tube so we can tie in the the hotspot and it will fasten tightly. Okay. Like that. Oops. Cut off that. Now you take your black tiny thread and you start at the top. Like that. Okay, as I said, we're gonna use a um, gold braid. Mikael Fredin braid. Best braid on the market, if you ask me. Oops. I don't know if you can listen guys, but uh, my my girlfriend and my kid is uh, playing uh, Baby Shark etc. downstairs. So, sorry for the background music. Super glue on the tube. This saves you so many flies if you do this. Tight traps. Don't want this to loosen up. Like that. Okay. Um, now we're gonna have the magma yellow. This will also be a little hackle. Like a, yeah, this dubbing is so fluffy and uh, it peaks out to different sides, etc. So, yeah, 
and it's a crap to dub with actually <laughs> but yeah like that okay um, now we're gonna tie in the first wing and that's the other one if I only can find it here there we go so I take the yellow fox cut that off and to to get this drop form that a lot of people ask me about how I do this is that I make the first wing without taking it off I don't take out the under wool here um, then you will have a much wider part here in the wing and then it will taper out as you can see the wing is already drop formed so just build on that I think that's the clue here so we add this wing like that Off that one, add some varnish, okay. And now we're going to tie in the first yellow hackle, soft hackle, yellow soft hackle. This is going to be the, the smallest hackle, so try to find the hackle piece that's. Uh, not enormous. That's kind of difficult sometimes when you have these big soft patches, I think. Yeah, not that easy. <laughs> okay, take this one. Strip off the lower part. Okay. Pull this backwards, then it will be much tighter. Tie in the hackle. Use your hackle tool. This is also a, like the bail limit destroyer. This is a pattern that we you don't want to um, you don't want to uh, use too much materials in each wing here and each hackle because it will be too much for the fly, and the fly will be just a big clump of yeah fox and hackle, and that's not pretty at all. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, next one now is the orange, the orange um, fox. So, I have already a nice colored, deep orange colored fox that I'm using. So material control is really important on how much you use and, yeah, and this comes with uh, experience so don't worry guys. Take this wing maybe half a centimeter longer than the other one and tie it in. Like that.
had some varnish. People asked me what varnish is, and um, this is the Spirit River Benecki uh, varnish. It's just uh, like a yeah, just no normal varnish you buy in a large tying shop or something. Nothing special. Okay, now we're gonna have the orange one, orange shackle. So, as I said earlier, try to find one that's not enormous. Okay, wrap this backwards. And line it. Like that. Pull the fibers backwards as I shown earlier. go a little backwards so the hackle is secured like that oh, I love that color with the deep orange and the yellow such a deadly color so probably can see really nice okay um, now we're gonna add some flesh. As I said, here is this is the main part of the flesh here. So Alta Gold from Fredin is the choice here today. I usually just clean this a bit up because it's so many different layers here and some are a bit bulky. So one on this side, and then I push the other one on the other side, like that. Pull everything back and just cut it off, not at the same place, but taper it, like that. Then you won't have them to squeeze together when they're wet. And now we're gonna add the black tackle, black soft patch. This is the biggest one. This one will cover up the, the last remainings here. Like that. Try not to snip off the orange hackle and the yellow hackle when you do this. It's quite important. Okay, and then just tie it in. Pull everything backwards. Snip off that little piece of heckle stem. Okay. Um, now we're gonna dye in the black 
temple dog. Don't take too much materials here. Because we don't want this floor to be too bulky. So I clean this one pretty much out of the underwall. And I'll leave the little roof on the top. Like that. Yeah, it's perfect. Adjust the wing if you need to, if you didn't get it on the top from the first place. Like that. Add some varnish. As you can see, I do this in, the, in every wing layer because of the quality. This will save you so much time later on when you have to tie new flies because the one you tied was not good enough. Okay. Um, now it's just finishing up with the jungle cock. So add two. Two suitable feathers of jungle cock. And the fly is soon done. Spit on it and just just drag it like this, and you will have it curved a bit. It will make a little angle or not. As you can see, and then it will fit better. Like that. Same with the other one. Pull like this. You can see the shape there. I add some super glue to the tread to secure these jungle cocks because if they fell off you have a problem. And try to not spill super glue on the hackle like I did there. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that. Finish the fly. wraps tighten it in I just saw I don't, I don't cut here because of the tackle I just push the scissor like that as you can see now we have a the fly is almost finished but we have this little piece in front here and what I do is I pull off the tube Like that. I take a scissor and I cut off the head like this. Then you. Here you have to be really careful so you don't cut off the too far in or yeah places that you don't want to cut because uh, then you will lose a lot of materials and you have to have super glue on before you do this, like I did here. To be 100% sure now you can take the tread, tie it on again, and go a couple of wraps over, like that. Some of you asked me why I don't strip the jungle cock before I tie it in. Um, the reason is because I feel like they is so much tighter and so they, they fasten much better when you don't do that. When you tie in everything, it's way I think it's way better. Like uh, it connects so much better. 
Okay. Now add a little drop of super glue, like that. And just lock the thread. Like that. So one ish. Like that. And there it is, completely finished. Really good. On a tube. 14 millimeter tungsten tube from Sean Stanton. Hope you enjoyed the movie, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Superb. So, have a great evening, guys. And new movie will come up soon. So, hang around there. <laughs> okay, see you guys later.